Hola everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hello, how you doing? Today's video is a very exciting video, and that's because we're actually going to be taking a look, a look, at the new Huda Beauty. I honestly don't even, I just know it's called Nude Palette, but I want to get it right. <coughs> so yeah, today we're going to be checking out the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. I was actually sent this palette in PR, just a little disclaimer, I always do keep things eight more than 92 on this channel. Let's let's keep it 100. I don't care if I get something for free. I don't care if I buy it. It's either good or it's either bad. So yeah, honesty is the best policy, but let's get like right into it. I actually already opened up this box, so it's not a first impression. It's more of a tutorial review sort of video, but I did unbox this on my Instagram. I do unboxings there every single week. So if you guys are not already following me on Instagram, what are you doing? Follow me at Edgar's Makeup. Here's a little info card. I absolutely love these. I hate when I see other influencers, like, especially when I know they got little info cards and they don't know when launch date is or anything. I can't really. And here, ooh, here's the palette. So this is the new nude Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. And then they also sent over three brushes. I don't think I have, these may be the first Huda Beauty eye brushes, but I know I do have the foundation brush. But we got three brushes. They're all double-sided. It looks like a soft sponge. Oh, a silicone applicator, soft sponge, and then just like some tapered usual, nothing fluffy. So here is the palette. Oh my God, let's see. I feel like I need that sound effect whenever I unbox palette or any new makeup product that's like <laughs> So here it is, here is the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette At a first glance this palette is the same size as all other Huda Beauty palettes And then the inside we have a- oh my- I love a big mirror I- I need a big mirror because I got big head so And then we have the little divider Here it is and oh look at those. I didn't swatch these before I filmed this video because I really wanted you guys to take in the different textures and the finishes in this palette. Now, I believe I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw this either on Trend Moods page or from Huda Beauty somewhere. Um, and these, first of all, I'm very like a visual person. Visually, these are like a marble sort of eyeshadow. Like, I guess it's just a very unique visual sort of things for me to see in a palette at least. Then we also have just like some soft, oh, this is actually the only soft like shimmer shade. And these look like glitters. And to be exact, there are satin soft shades, multi-reflective pearls, which are these four unique ones. And then pressed glitters. Oh, a cream base. This looks like an eyeshadow, but it's a perfect canvas to boost the eyeshadow intensity. So it's like a concealer, but for the most intriguing multi-reflective pearl eyeshadows, they are being described as high coverage metallic foils with multi-reflective pearl flakes for a multi-dimensional finish. Now the shades in here, obviously they're satin soft matte, so they do have a little bit of a soft sort of tone. If they're super pigmented and buildable, that's another thing, you know, to kind of build the intensity of these colors. But to me, they really just look more like just dusty, pastel-y colors. I wanna dig into Raw Teddy Spanked Love Bite, and then one of these on the lip. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Click the little notification bell so you Oh, look, how ironic. I got a notification with the bell. But click the little notification bell so you guys get notified whenever I upload new videos. And also, give me a big thumbs up because if you enjoyed the video, God, let me know. But yeah, let's get right into it. Now, let me go ahead and take my lip gloss off so I don't get it everywhere. Also, these lashes got a blast. Oh, wow. Oh, got a blast. So my eyelids are already prepped, but I'm just going over them a little bit more. So I'm starting off with a transition shade. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this Teddy shade and just kind of milk it out. So these, I can see what they say about soft satin matte because I see the color there. I'm gonna go, this is, I just dipped right back in. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and just in case. I don't think I've had fallout with previous Huda Beauty palettes, but you never know. Okay, so now I can really like not care. I can be careless. This eyeshadow is actually really pretty and showing up definitely a little more berry on my eyelid. On here, it looks like more brown, but on my eyes, it looks like a really pretty soft berry shade. So these definitely do have good pigment. They're not super intensely like a pure pigment, but they're definitely blending out easy and I feel like I'm not really having to work too bad. I am using a fluffy brush so that definitely contributes to no harsh lines. So I'm going ahead just bringing this shade all the way up here. I used to only bring my shadow kind of like in here, but now I just bring it literally into my eyebrow and a little bit into the middle's contour. It just blends in everything a little more seamlessly. And then just here on the tail end, I kind of just like to 
pull out a little bit. All right, so there we go, all done blending. I think it looked pretty good so far. It was super easy to do, not very troublesome. I am gonna go into these two pinkier shades right here, but I wanna deepen it a little more with the shade Raw, and this is a Morphe E22. Starting on the outer corner, just patting that in. This is the second matte that I'm dipping into, and it definitely has the same buildability and the same sort of formula, the way it's blending out and applying. I know sometimes eyeshadow palettes, although they have mattes, sometimes especially the darker shades are not the best. Here is raw all applied. Now with this raw shade, I can definitely see a tiny bit of fallout. It's very minimal though for being this dark of a tone already. Um, you usually start to get fallout around here, so Pretty normal, nothing out of the ordinary. So now I'm going to go ahead and use a Makeup Shack brush. This must be really old because there's not even a number or name on it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of Love Bite right on the outer part of the eye. Because we're layering it over the raw shade, it's not showing up as intensely purple, but I can still see the purple. So I'm just packing this on. I really like to more just pack it on and then with very light pressure, blend it out. And then with no additional product, bringing this in as well to the inner part. Oh, you know what I just noticed? I was only going to use the Huda Beauty brushes. Oh my God, I'm so bad. Uh, but then again, the Huda Beauty brushes also don't come with the palette. It might be a good thing that I didn't use them. Yeah, these are just my normal brushes that I use on a regular basis, but I will use some of the Huda Beauty ones right now. I feel like that's pretty intense, but I still want to add a little more. So I'm dipping in one last time. Now I want to move on to the lid and the lower lash line, but before I do that, I'm dipping into Teddy, the first shade we used, and just tapping a little bit more of that color in here. I feel like now it got a tiny bit lost, but I definitely do need it to give it that sort of like really blown out look without having to take the darker shades out so much. And actually go back in as well with Raw and just add a little touch of it. I do have a little bit of fallout right here, as you can see from that Love Bite shade. It's a dark purple, so I kind of expected that. But before I go ahead and wipe that away, I'm going to go and do a little lid action. I'm going to take the larger side and grab some of that concealed eyeshadow base and press that into the eye. Oh, see, but now dipping back into it, it kind of, hmm, that might get messy. When I dip back into it, I get a little bit of transfer from the red. It might just be more of a pick up a lot of products and dip in sort of moment. Oh wow, this actually worked really well, actually. It's not like a super tacky or super waxy formula. I can see now how the shadows are gonna pop on there. I'm gonna go ahead and do Crave on the inner corner and then Daydream on all over the lid. For that, I'm actually going to use this Fender Blender brush. One of them's silicone and one of them's just a normal sponge. Just I feel weird doing this, but let's see how it applies. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, they might be on to something. Do you? Wow, okay, I can definitely see this is super multi dimensional. I feel like shimmer shades are very hit or miss. You kind of really need to have a big curl in there to give this sort of 3D effect. In the pan, you can tell this has like a regular, super buttery shimmer shade, and then the bigger pearls are what make it look marbleized. I hope it's showing up the same way on camera as it is in person. Now I'm gonna take a flat brush and go into Crave. Even this Crave shade, it's going on almost like confetti, like a topper. I think that's why the sponge applicators might be good for this. You know what, let me try just the very tip. Oh, this applies so much better with this. And for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into Spink and just smoke out my lash line. For the darker shades, I definitely feel like less is more because that's what created most of the fallout. It's not too bad at all considering how intense and the tones that we're using. To get a little bit closer to the lash line, I'm gonna go in with Love Bite and I'm applying this right along the entire lash line. And just to tie the look and just to tie the look together, I'm going to go ahead and line the lash line and the inner part of the eye with a black pencil. 
Okay, so here is what the eye look turned out like. I think it was really easy to create. I did it really quick. It was effortless. I didn't really have to think about it. As far as the fallout, I think it's very normal. From the multi-reflective pearl shades, I can definitely see a little bit of the pearl, um, and then the darker shades did have the fallout, but as always, we can just wipe that away with our security powder and it's gone. So that's not really an issue. Let me go ahead and finish up the other eye so we can come back and do lips. Okay, so here are both eyes done. I personally think that the palette on its own is pretty substantial. I'm usually one to add glitter liner or something, crystals or something, just to make the eye look pop. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my favorite pair of Huda Beauty lashes. These are the Farah number 12. I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette. This is in the shade Golden Sands. For the lips, I'm feeling a dark color. I was gonna go with nude because new nude, but I haven't done a dark lip in forever and it's November. So I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the shade Famous. All right, you guys, so that is the completed look. I think I got a little misled by the name New Nude. When I think nude, I think like nude lip. But today, <laughs> we're obviously in dusty berry tones, which I still absolutely love. I think they are perfect for this time of year. They are definitely a little more sultry, a little more festive. So I think this is definitely launching at a convenient time of the year. In total, on my eyes today, I used Petty Raw, Spanked, Love Bite, Crave, and Daydream. So a total of six shades. There are 18 in here, so I I used one third of the palette. There's obviously some more dusty pink, some more like mauve tones that you could do, but I really wanted to go in and test the deeper colors because those are the colors that sometimes don't perform as well. They're a little too pigmented, harder to blend out, but you guys saw how they built up and they blended out. And I think, like I mentioned earlier, no glitter, no nothing additional, just the palette on my eyes and it definitely looks great. Now, I believe by the time I'm uploading this, it should be launching, but I will put price, everything, launch dates down in the description bar below. But as far as my final verdict i really do like this palette while these colors are not necessarily new um you can definitely find like mauvey palettes warm palettes i feel like this has a good mix of everything for everyone it's definitely going to be a very versatile palette for everyday users because I can see a day look being done with this. I can see a night look being done with this. Today I kind of wanted to just wing it. It was my first time digging into this. And this is a look that I would actually do just trying some new product out, you know? So all the colors I used blended out perfectly. A little bit of fallout, but that's normal with every palette. Would I recommend this? Yes, I would. Please let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this palette. How do you think it performed? Will you be getting it? This was definitely highly requested as soon as I posted it. There was a ton of screenshots, a ton of messages asking me to please review this. So yeah, sound off in the comments down below. Are you getting this? What do you think? Let me know. But yeah, that is everything from me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.